Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss about the SMDB designing, Submain Distribution Board designing. In this video, we will discuss how to calculate the incoming and outgoing breaker rating of SMDBs and how to calculate the incoming and outgoing cable size for the SMDB. In this video, we will take a real time example like this. This is the SLD for one SMDB and we will find the incomer breaker rating for this SMDB, the incoming cable size of this SMDB and we will calculate the breaker rating for all outgoing loads for this SMDB and we will calculate the size of the cables for all outgoing load connected with this SMDB. All the calculation for the breaker rating and for the cables rating will be as per the DY standard. I will make another video to design one SMDB as per ADDC regulation. But in this video, I am designing this SMDB as per the DY standard. There is a difference in ADDC regulation and DY regulation for designing the SMDB and LV panel. In DY regulation, we have to consider the total connected load while calculating or while designing the SMDB and MDBs. But in the ADDC regulation, we have to go for the diversified load, diversified load in order to design the SMDB and LV panel. But in DIVA and ADDC regulation, if we are designing the final distribution board, then we have to consider the total connected load. Let us calculate first the main incomer breaker rating for this sub main distribution board. Here you can see that the total load connected is 165.35 kilowatt. Here I consider that the three phase voltage is 415 volt and the power factor maintained is 0 0.8. As I see the total connected load for this SMDB is 165.3 kilowatt. So the total load current for that SMDB is 1.74 into total connected load that is 165.3. Why I multiplied with 1.743? This is the shortcut method. If you want to go with the power formula, then P is equal to root 3 into V into I into cos 5. Then I will be equal to P divided by root 3 into v into cos 5. Here you see that I took the fixed value of voltage that is 415 volt and the power factor is 0.8 and root 3 is constant. So i is equal to I can say 1 by root 3 into v into cos 5 into power. So this value if we will substitute and divide it by 1 then we will get this 1.74 value and I multiplied with the total load connected. So I will get the total current as 287.6 ampere. In order to select the incoming breaker rating or any breaker rating we have to multiply with the safety margin which is 20 to 25 percent of the load current total load current. So what we will do we have to simply multiply with this current with either 1.2 or 1.25. If we are taking the safety margin as 25 percent then we will multiply it with multiply the current with 1.25 and if we are taking the safety margin as 20% then we will multiply the load current with 1.2. So here I can see that the safety margin is 20% so the breaker rating will be the total load current that is 287.6 ampere into the multiplication factor that is 1.20. So we will get the breaker rating is 345.12 ampere. But the breakers are coming in the standard size so we have to go for the next greater breaker rating available. So the next available standard breaker MCCB is 350 ampere. So here we can say that the breaker rating of this SMDB is 350 ampere. Now let us calculate what would be the cable size for this SMDB. In order to get the incoming cable size for this SMDB we have to refer the DIVA table number 3 for multiple core armored XLP insulated copper conductor. Here you see that when the MCCB rating or the breaker rating is 350 ampere then we have to go for 240 square mm multi core cable. So as per this table we wrote I wrote here the cable for this SMDB is 240 square mm cable 4 core XLP armored cable. And as we know from the same DIVA regulation that if the 
armored cable the phase cable is 240 then the ecc cable required is s by 2 that is 240 by 2 then the ecc cable will be 120 this table is also from the diva regulation and this table explains that if the xlpe cable is less than 16 square mm then the ecc cable will be same as of xlpe cable size if suppose for example if the phase cable is 4 square mm then the ecc cable also will be 4 square mm and it will be valid till less than 16 square mm and if the xlpe cable is between 16 to 35 then the ecc cable will be 16 what does it mean suppose if the xlpe cable is 25 square mm 25 square mm so this is lying between this then the ecc cable will be 16 square mm and if the xlpe cable or the phase cable is greater than 35 then the ecc cable the earth continuity cable is half of the armored cable size suppose in our case in our case the xlpe cable is 240 so as per this table we the ecc cable will be 240 divided by 2 that is 120 square mm size ecc cable which i wrote here hope you clearly understand so i can write here the incoming cable size is 4 core 240 square mm xlp cable and for ecc it is 1 core 120 square mm copper pvc cable so so far we calculated the main incomer breaker of this smdb and the main incoming cable of this smdb now let us calculate the outgoing breaker of this load and the cable required for this load so here the load for db fp2 is 50.60 kilowatt for db fp2 the total connected load is 50.60 kilowatt so the total load current is 1.74 into 50.60 that is 88 ampere i told you from where i bring this 1.74 now we have the total load current required for the db fp2 now in order to calculate the breaker rating we have to multiply with the safety margin i consider here as a 20 percent is the safety margin so i will multiply directly with 1.20 with the total load current of db fp2 then i will get the value of 105.6 ampere so the next available breaker greater than this value is 125 ampere so the next available standard breaker mccb available is 125 ampere so this will be here we can write that the breaker rating will be here 125 ampere mccb now let us calculate the cable size required to feed this db load f db fp2 we have to refer the cable chart what we got the breaker rating as 125 ampere so here you can see that for 125 ampere of breaker rating the cable size is 50 square mm so i wrote here from the same table 3 this is from diva the required cable size is 50 square mm 4 core xlp cable as i explained you from this chart if the cable size is greater than 35 square mm then we have to choose the ecc cable half of the xlp cable so here i divided 50 by 2 that is 25 mp 25 square mm so the ecc cable size will be 25 square mm so we can write here the xlp cable will be 50 square mm xlp cable and the ecc cable will be 25 square mm copper pvc cable in same way you can calculate the breaker rating and the cable rating for this load for all other loads by the way if you want to know how to calculate the cable with very deep concept then watch my video on how to calculate the cable size link will be in the description hope you find this video informative if you really like my video then please give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel we will meet in any other video till then take care keep learning and bye bye thank you so much